What's up guys? This is your boy Mike from RGV Sense and I'm here to do a top 5 list. Now this list will be my top 5 fragrances from, from one of my favorite perfumers out there, one of my favorite of all time, Olivier Polge. Now Olivier Polge has created a lot of fragrances throughout the years, of course, the legendary Dior Homme, the original formulation, and a lot of beautiful women uh, perfumes as well. One of my favorites, Victor involves uh, Flower Bomb. So this guy is one of the top when it comes to in the fragrance uh, community. Obviously this guy grew up, he grew up, his dad is a perfumer as well, Jack A. Polge, and he grew up with, you know, um, with this fragrance world, with the fragrance community. And I mean, it's no brainer that he grew up and became a, perf a perfumer and a very, very, very good perfumer at that. So, uh, I have my five, top five lists. Now these are fragrances that I own. Unfortunately, Dior own the original formulation. I did not own it. So I will not have it on this list or else for sure it would be on the top of this list. Now, honorable mention, uh, fragrance that I rarely use. That's why it's not in my top five list. Uh, Paco Robbins Invictus. Paco Robbins Invictus, I rarely use it. It's more of a clubbing type of fragrance, more for the younger crowd as I see it. And I don't really see it as much use. It's a high compliment getter. It is, but I don't mention Paco Rabanne's Invictus. So let's get right to it. My top five list. At number five, from the house of Salvatore Ferragamo, this is Salvatore Ferragamo's F Black. Now this fragrance, very manly, love the scent of it. This fragrance is going to get you compliments, but sometimes it can be a little over aggressive or over, you know, manly. And someone might not like it. So it's more like a 50 50, I would say. You get compliments or you don't. That's it. And if you do get a compliment, it'll be a good one. And number five, Salvatore Ferragamo F Black. At number four, this fragrance gets compared a lot by Dior Home Intense. And uh, I can see that. I can see that. But um, I think this one distinguishes itself differently. This is Valentino Uomo. Doesn't really have that high um, Irish scent that the Orman 10 has. This one's more gourmandish, you know, with the ch uh, chocolate, the coffee, the hazelnut, very gourmandish. The Orman 10 is more like playful type of scent. This one's more like serious, but still sexy, classy type of scent. And number four, the house of Valentino, Valentino Uomo. And number three, by the house of Victor and Rolf, and this is Spice Bomb. I love this fragrance. I know uh, a lot of people don't like it because it had become popular. I love the scent. I love Victor and Rolf Spice Bomb. More during the night, real nice fragrance to go out. Victor and Rolf Spice Bomb, you know, that's spicy. Has a little bit of sweetness, it has the uh, cinnamon in there, tobacco, lovely, lovely fragrance. Love it. Number three, Victor Vault Spice Bomb. And number two, now this fragrance, the first time I wore it, I guess it was a hot day, and I sprayed it on me, and I usually like to test a fragrance when I spray it on me and like to see how it develops throughout the day. First time I wore this, I was like, no, this, this is a mess. It was hot. And uh, I gave it a second chance on a, on a night, just like the fragrances. 
gold and I love this fragrance now I appreciate it a lot it's unfortunately discontinued and this is by Van Cleef and Art Pills Midnight in Paris just a beautiful beautiful bottle beautiful presentation now the scent of this is a leathery powdery and scentsy scent very unique just a fragrance that everybody should have in their collection you know rarely use it I don't use it a lot uh, or else you know I'm gonna run of it it's still available out there but I'm pretty sure in the next year or so it's gonna go up because this fragrance this fragrance is good and it's discontinued like I said so yes fragrance that I learned to love and appreciate by Van Cleef and Arpels Midnight in Peggy's and at number one one of my top fragrances that I enjoy period and um, I just love this fragrance I um, just sprayed on me because I enjoy it so much and this is by uh, Dolce & Gabbana the one of the perfume now uh, the original Dolce & Gabbana wasn't uh, you know it, uh, it didn't have that much of a performance this one's an upgrade to it it's a little bit more solid and it lasts a little longer nonetheless I love this freaking fragrance and the number one favorite fragrance by Olivier Post that I own and this one I use a lot since I bought this fragrance I've been using it a lot and I love the scent of it it's just so good and compliment getter as well love it love it very versatile very good smelling love this fragrance Dolce & Gabbana the one all oh, the parfum I just have to spray this one guys You say good. And number one, told you the one of the one other parfum. So this is my top five list from the great perfumer Olivier Poles. Thank you guys for taking your time to see my list. Uh, if you have any of your top five lists that you own from Olivier Poles, then uh, put it down on the section below. And I'll see you guys later for a another top list or another review. Take care, guys.